Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing with the blind playthrough on Unfair Difficulty. It's time to continue with exploring the galaxy. Mandos Valencia's one of our home systems, is uh, today's target. So buckle up buttercup lord captain and the master helmsman is online i can report that the quest for the capital word from van valencia's dynasty is finally at our end uh, dragonos is straight ahead we have received countless greetings your subjects uh, would like to know what, when their master is arriving the merchant captains taking refuge in the orbital docks of uh, uh, dragonos race send your prizes welcome gifts hoping to buy your favor and make the impression for the rogue trader Um, well, tell them we're coming home. Lord Captain, I will be pleased to accompany you during your visit. I can personally introduce Archelaus Salander, servant of the Golden Throne who previously attended Lady Theodora from uh, Dragonus. I'm counting on your benevolence. Cool. So. Fantastic. I already mentioned our home system. Good. Phlogiston. Uh, I would love to mine that, but we have no extractum. Intriguing surface. It is possible that the molten rock is one of uh, the mantle powered as a consequence of a natural cataclysm or collusion with another celestial body. I would really like to get that Phlogiston going. But I'm sure we're going to get new extractors. Adeptus Mechanicus ship, okay. Well, Captain, a transport shuttle bearing the markings of the Adeptus Mechanicus is approaching the ship. Magus Taurus's delegation intends to board our ship with an audience with your lordship. This is exactly how they phrased it. He tends not humbly requests. Many of my tech comrades, uh, comrades neglect the diplomacy when interacting with uh, the lady. It is regrettable. Receive the delegation, of course. It'll be done, Lord Captain. Requesting permission to be present, of course. Let's go. Curious to hear what they have to say. Or, if they're here as quote-unquote assassins, because they are tainted. This looks strange. Uh, why would they bring so many, like, soldiers? Uh, anyways. A group of distressed crimsons of the priest of, of Mars uh, walks towards you. Their gaze are fixed at Pascal. You know that the group is not a monolithic. Some of its members are more heavily armed and follow a large tech priest clad in bandle armor. Others keep respect for distance. For their own leader, whose hunched uh, posture... Um, bellies his tall frame. Despite uh, the hood hiding his face, you recognize him as Opticum 22, who few encountered in Frostfall. Not in Frostfall, uh, Footfall. The enormous tech priest points his hand as Pascal and lets out a booming roar, not unlike a factory alarm. Uh, it makes you, uh, your very bones vibrate. Thou shalt not suffer a heretic in thy forge. For rust begrets rust. Pascal Hanunaiman, in the name of the Adeptus Mechanicus, you are under arrest. Um, Opticon 22, diplomacy mode engaged. Announcement. The Adeptus Mechne uh, Mechanicus offer their apologies. Would like to inform you of the necessity of conducting an operation to a faulty unit of the rogue traders. Uh, territory. Let's uh, study the two priests. You identify a rarer armor and the enormous tech priest wearing as a 
sectors, uh, pl uh, sectors played, mechanized suit, carries the imprints of many battles and has marks uh, that announce the status of a relic. Some of the armor's damage looks fairly severe, um, to the point of endangering its operation. And the silvers of uh, slivers of flesh revealed under the steel are marked with a terrible chemical burn. Every now and then, convulsions shake the takes priest's body, and a painful sounding hiss comes from his vox. Uh, the tall tech priest who spoke um, to you looks more peaceful, and marks a point of uh, and makes a point of not drawing his weapon. There is an air of concern about the way he frequently glares over at his fellow, scrutinizing his condition. Who are you? Tarza says, an instrument of the Omnisire, authorized to punish and extract vengeance. Known by the designation Tarzus Hanuman. Identification codes recognized and confirms these units are who they declare themselves to be. On what charge are you trying to arrest a member of my retinue? This heretic is accused of stealing personal information codes, spreading tech heresy on the world of Kiava Gummer and making an attempt to the life of the servant of the Omnisire. The faulty unit will be removed in the name of the Omnisire and condemn you. Uh, Pascal says you are a malfunctioning tech comrade. I deem your logical conclusions questionable. Uh, the statement is false. Uh, tech brother Tarzus Hanuman is willingly undergoing holy torment, which, however, does not affect his cognitive capacity for data analysis. Even calling himself uh, Pascal Han uh, Hanoiman, we informed you uh, that uh, implicates you, having learned that you are a member of the retinue. Uh, maintenance specialized in the service of a road trader, Von Valencius. We have come here with the goal of meeting you, slash intercepting you, slash engaging you in combat. Wait a minute, what is happening on Kiava Gamma? According to the voice intercepting data, a Planix fa uh, fabricator sensor. Uh, made modifications to manufactorium working procedures, which uh, qualifies as a lapse into the sacrilege. The adeptus mechanics are hereby officially notifying House uh, von Valencius of having uh, commenced an investigation uh, mm, uh, to remove uh, fabricator sensor Cubis Delphim. Esteem time to procedure completion 3.7 solar years. Our data suggests the unit which Margus Explorer Heunemann identification codes performed an unauthorized upgrade to the planetary Vox array. Okay. I'm not uh, handing Pascal over to you. What do you have to say to this, Pascal? I deny these charges I never plotted against my tech comrades. My cognitive purity vows were never distorted. My unique identification, uh, identification code was never stolen. I am the true Magos Explorator Hanoiman, and I am not guilty. False witness. I'm not handing over Pascal unless I see evidence. Ready to work in cooperative mode. Carson gives you a haunty look and lets out a howl of wrath. Archiving tech brother Tarsus opposed lay participation. The unit Opticon 22 advises favor of the House Valencia's represented, uh, representative's participation request. Um, I insist on a joint investigation. Um, arresting anyone without uh, justification stands the breach to the law of my privilege under the warrant of trade. Request for cooperation reviewed and accepted. I request Tech Brother Tarzus uh, consent in co participating to represent uh, uh, to the representatives of the House of Valencia's dynasty. Tarzus, a sacrilegious uh, conspiracy, I refuse to help. Uh, from lay persons 
I am a cock of the Deus Machinius that grinds down corruption and I will carry out the sentence immediately. Pascal freezes. Let the cycle be disconnect, uh, discontinued. You realize Pascal's words are coming from both his Vox and Tarsus's. Then every sensor of the executioner's battle harness lighten up blightly, and the wounded armored Le Leviathan lets out a deafening roar in pain. Tension, priority, notification, service unit, Kappa threat, supply line are unauthorized to confront rogue trader, command retreat and reinitiate negotiations. The absurdity of your struggle amuses me. Well, Tarsus. Uh, we declare that officially. Uh, we declare the negotiations officially as uh, failed. Starting battle. Fabulous. So. Let's do a bit, a little bit of uh, this here. And I even more of that. Guidance. And we're good. If you insist, Lord Captain. All of you move together. <laughs> All of you... Uh, take nightmare. Tarsus um, lost about sixty hit points. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. Isn't this a job for the serfs? If I may. Position that there. Me? And this here. If you insist, Lord Captain. Do not dare ask. And that removes cover. Almost. Yep, fantastic. My vow is to serve. So, what do we have? Overwhelming stratagem. Choose one of the combat tactics. Uh, mm, all attack by allies inflict overwhelming effect on the enemies. Um, Running by Derek Override. Nice little plasma shot. <laughs> Your life is a negligible variable. Computation fails. All right, Taurus's needs to be easy to hit. We got that. Emperor 
commands I act. Good. Let's start hitting a couple of guys here. Tars could be a good start. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. Good attack, I would say. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. We are charging to Tarsus. Fantastic. Uh, I would like every single one of you to attack me At your beck and call. that it will be and done. a little bit of that and Tarsus is, is declared as enemy be and we're hitting one more time and things are looking good I like what I'm seeing Ruin this and this I and this triumph. Let's upgrade for more damage, and this should be a good hit. And oh, that was a hundred points of damage. That was a phenomenal hit. Heinrichs. I won't object to it. Does a little bit of that. For the throne's glory. Begins to weaken all of the enemies. Let's see to it. I won't have kills himself, and then our new Psy Sword is going to deliver a nice little blow. Good hit. One. If I may. Two. Um. Heinrichs gets a little bit of a bonus and Argenta can go to town. Look at the bonus damage. As the Emperor commands, I act. None can escape the Emperor's Fantastic. Good fight. Uh, Point Tarsus, help your brother. Adunus calls itself Tarsus Han Neumann. Is that the material asset is beyond restoration?
Sorry that we had to kill a comrade. I also regret to have a negative assessment of this event. It aptus mechanical still accused the unit identifying itself as Pascal Heunemann of criminal theft. Unlike Tech Brother Tarsus, I'm not authorized to immediately execute uh, the unit, but neither am I authorized to drop the inquiry. Tech Brother Tarsus and the machine spirit that lived uh, in his battle harness uh, succumbed to the suffering that beset them. Their judgment was rash and errorous. Now that the torment is over, I declare uh, them martyrs. And I am request, uh, requesting Targus uh, uh, Hanoiman's neural augment for the purpose of preserving his blessed memory. Listen in silence. You saw the agony your tech brother Tarsus was in. His unbridled pain, spurred faith, intimidated you, yet you were uh, silent. Reverence stopped you from raising your voices to proclaim that the machine spirit uh, with which his mind had merged was morbidly afflicted. The imperative of uh, reverence had paralyzed your will, and you watched the tragedy unfold in silence. The sixth universal law states that uh, comprehension is the true path to knowledge, yet uh, the procedural cycle has robbed you of your comprehension, therefore let the cycle be discontinued. What just happened? Um, I decided to sustain my words with an excerpt of the blessed uh, Amaranth sermons my analysis is deemed appropriate. Now that the conflict has resolved, you may remain aboard uh, my ship. Okay, so we leveled up. Um, after that fight, uh, just really quick, uh, really quick uh, run through. We got a nice little parry bonus against taunted targets, which is great. Um, our other tank has gone into survivor, meaning a uh, cautious approach offers more temporary wounds, um, which is good for survivability. Pascal used uh, sniping zone so that we're dealing more damage in the back line. We got a new talent, Guide of Souls, which whenever Cassia is buffing someone, they get um, movement points. We got Overpower with Argenta, which is fantastic because heavy weapons like the Bolter will increase the critical hit chance and the critical damage, and that in itself is fabulous. And uh, Saiken got himself some hidden advantage so that uh, the pressed advantage is better. I just need to yeah, use it more often. Um, so, let's seize the opportunity. Tarsus, my brother, you had a very nice big axe. I wonder where that X has gone. It is a weapon, isn't it? Strange. I was under the impression we had uh, picked it up because Pascal could have absolutely used the axe. Well, too bad. Good, back to the bridge. Well, we haven't even arrived at the starport and we already got attacked this time by a couple of tech priests. It's interesting by the way. They uh, they are they weren't a coherent unit either and they were too afraid uh, to stop one of their brothers. Uh, 
good Darganus. Look at that. That's our home world. That's the palace and that's the administratium. Let's go to the palace first. I got the feeling that we're going to arrive and we're going to be ambushed yet again. Clemencia Versarian um, greets us. The Emperor protects. Welcome home, your lordship. I'm Clemencia Versarian, court uh, chancellor of the Van Valencius dynasty. On behalf of Dragonos, please accept my deepest condolences to the untimely passing of Theodora from Valencius. Her departure is a terrible blow to us all, but as one star expires, another one flares to life. And although I'm still overcome with the bitterness and grief, your subject hope uh, that you will become the trade dynasty's guiding light in these trying times. Clemencia, Abelard says, uh, whilst Achelius Scandalar um, says, Achelius Scandalar, secretary to the administratum department, I hope your journey to Dragonos was not darkened by unwanted troubles. Um, yeah, the Emperor protected us, and may he remain merciful uh, to us till the end of time. Does your Lordship wish to survey the grounds, or perhaps we could state your curiosity by answering the questions you might have? Governor Urban Divestem has been notified by your arrival in Dragonus and will visit the palace shortly. Where are my chambers? They are very close, just down the hall. This is also where the study and audience chamber are. Lady Theodora's study has remained locked since her last departure, but on an account of your arrival, we've arranged for you to, uh, to it to be tidied up. It is ready whenever you might need it. Achiele says, I apologize for my bluntness, but I have a request to make. Uh, perhaps before the meeting takes place, the illustrious Lord Captain would spare a few minutes in a conversation with me. I'm certainly uh, that you will find my report to the state of affairs from the Valencius Protectorate most useful. Sure, why not? Let's listen to him. We have a lot of people around here. Fabulous to see that one of our worlds is still intact and we're not just coming too late. This seems to be our main planet as far as I'm concerned. So, let's give it a good try. All of our companions are here. Welcome, your lordship. Let me inform you of the location of the chambers of uh, your dynastic estate. Sure. The main throne room is upstairs and straight ahead. Your uh, subject, Achilles Scandala, informed me that he humbly awaits the opportunity to meet you there. 
Okay. If your lordship wish, uh, wishes to rest after a long journey, then your personal chambers are up uh, the stairs to the right. If you need anything, whatever your soul desires, I'll be right next to the chambers, eagerly awaiting your orders. Okay. I got it. Fantastic. You are very kind. Thank you. A revelation was sent to me. Cool. Whenever the wearer moves through a cell occupied by an enemy, the wearer gains 15 dodge. Against that enemy's attack until the wearer's next turn. Uh, we're putting that to good use. The master of dodge. Hmm, three extra movement isn't bad either. I actually like that a lot. And somehow we got mobile extraction times three. That is wonderful. Guides my gaze. Okay, what else do we have here? Two handed weapon, a melter weapon. Ooh, it's the first time that we do have such a thing. Low rate of fire, but it seems like a fantastic weapon. The question is who is a melter weapon type of person? other than Argenta. Not even she can use them. Oh. Look at that. Always the quiet guys. Abelard. Holy Abelard. What is even happening? Single shot, 3 AP, but it's big AOE attack. I like it. Fantastic. We should have come here much earlier. Just look at all of the stuff. The use grant uh, uh, the gloves granted plus 10 tech use also Damage of plasma weapons plus three. Fantastic. When the wearer hits uh, an ally with an area attack, wearer gains one stack of zealous effect. Uh, wearer deals 10% damage with their area attacks for each stack of uh, zealous. Hmm. I do have a use for both of these things. For starters, you're the plasma guy. And then I think the bolter weapon still counts as an area attack.
what just happened? My own security system. Hmm. Alright, so sitting down, not the best idea. Alright, back. So, we just found that Theodora had put a couple of traps in here. Plenty, to be precise. little estate say what you want very good so I think we got all of the items that we need from here before we go to the throne room let's see what's on this side hmm apparently nothing And off we go to the actual throne room. Let's see what the guy wants. <clears throat> wow, we're taking so many goods from our home world. Alright, Clementia. Your Lordship, the Governor is waiting um, on the periphery of the palace. Please let me know when you'd like to see him. Clementia is different from most nobles, just in a way she's dressed, but her bearing too, although judging by her scars, invisible to her skin, at least some part of her education took place on the battlefield. All right, where is the guy that wanted to talk to us? I think over here. Achielnias. The slender figure, clad in ropes made from expensive fabric, shutters uh, from violin coughing. Pressing a gilded respirator to his face, the man takes several deep breaths. Achielnias, it's been many months. I hope your cousin is feeling well. She, she's in good health. She sends her regards too, as well as her wishes for your swift return. Uh, Heinrichs, for as long as the stars shine in the sky, my vigil continues. So it does. All right, logic succeed. I'm not so foolish to fail uh, to notice a conversation in code. Your insight deserves credit, rogue trader. Then again, I expected nothing less from Theodora from Valencia's successor. Allow me to introduce Achilles Scandala properly. In addition to his duties as a secretary, he acts as an agent of the Golden Throne under my aegis. Master Scandalus was transferred uh, to my remit uh, by a colleague who is engaged in other matters in the Corona's expanse. I'm sure you will find Achilles' service useful, especially when dealing with schemes of humanity's foes within your borders of the Protectorate. Greetings, Lord Saiken. Allow me once again to express my deepest condolid uh, condolences. I will do everything that I can do to track down all of Kunrad Voigtvier's accomplices um, to the capital world. You promised me a report. 
I've already forwarded all of the official reports to the Seneschal. As for the conversation we're having right now, I wouldn't trust any paper to date the slaves to contain it. You see, Lady Theodora, may the Emperor have mercy on her soul, was perfectly aware of uh, Dragonos' political environment. You, however, um, have only just arrived in the capital world, and I thought it would be best to bring you up uh, to speed. Frankly, the nobles of uh, Dragonos, much like nobles in most worlds, are akin of uh, spiders in a jar ready to pounce on whoever is the weakest, or whomever they deem the weakest. The nobles of Dragonus are well-respected, rich, powerful individuals who held Le Lady Theodora's favor for many years. Every family uh, pursues its own selfish interests, and each other's ones expects that with the transition of power they will retain or even add uh, the lens of wealth. Uh, the families I would recommend giving particular attention to are the drive stems, the garprax, and the sourbacks. I should also mention that the Viserians, uh, not a noble house per se, but a family that was part of Theodora's inner circle. Good. What is um, happening with the drive, scene, uh, drive stems? Ancient governor house. Great welts. Reputation is flawless. Um have been falling to Xenos raids. Okay, what's happening with the Graprux? Um, they are, they have many servants of the Omnicide, so tech priests, and the house itself is close to the Adeptus Mechanicus. Okay, what's with House Storeback? Religious and hard working. So we got the merchants, we got uh, Adeptus Mechanicus, we got um, the religious crew, and the Viserians, Imperial Navy. Okay, after hearing all, all of that, That was it, your lordship, um, and this time it concerns the main reason for my presence on the planet, Xenos, and the threat they, they, that they pose to you and humanity overall. The last few months have been difficult. My eyes and ears are scattered throughout the Coronas expanse, warp disturbances, um, astropath overcome with madness, ships disappearing in the Maticurum. Many of my observers and contacts have gone dark and are killed in some calamity or the other. Still, I managed to establish communication with some key individuals and were able to warn them of incoming threats, including Xenos raids. Uh, it is uh, within my power to supply you with the intelligence where the uh, Xenos will strike next. Okay. According to the message I received a few minutes ago, uh, Governor Drive, uh, Dive Stem has arrived in court. I imagine uh, that the Chancellor has already prepared and arranged a meeting. <coughs> All that is left now is to notify her that you are ready to see them. I like how it is called spiders in a jar. Then we got reclaim what is yours. So that's the second one. Kiava Gamma we haven't done yet. Dreams and stories. This we cannot do yet. And this hopefully will resolve itself once we're back in footfall. Let's see the governor. Saiken van Valencius, uh, 20th in his line, rogue trader, keeper of the sacred warrant and ruler of the Coronas expanse from the Cranex system to the Hundred Dreams crossroads. I bid you welcome. Urban Divesken, governor of this world. First and foremost, please accept my deepest condolences, like always. Uh, the citizens of Dragonos and the entire Protectorate grieve alongside you. Please allow me to declare a half a year of mourning so that we can honor uh, the memory of our beloved lady.
Well, it's either yes, uh, double it, or uh, forget about her. Well, do a full year of mourning. Esteemed Tyken, Lady Theraura was a strong leader and we ought to follow her example. Let us lean on your wisdom and preserve the spite of the legacy together. And let us carry where she no longer can be by leading the Valencian's protectorate to even greater prosperity. Um, there is something Drivestein's gaze um, that you find troubling. Is it a hint of reproach? You are uncertain whether it's indeed true or merely, merely your guilty conscience. Uh, playing tricks on you. Alas, it won't be an easy task to accomplish, he says. Some time ago, the Astropaths of Dragon, uh, Dragonos uh, flew into rage and they had to be subdued. We are gradually restoring a, our ability to speak with neighboring worlds, but the contact is still weak and the routes are tangled and no longer lead uh, to systems uh, that the captains expect them to. Given uh, that the vast majority of the ships and the Dragonos Navy travel without relying on the service of navigators, without your engagement, the well-being of the Van Valencia's dynasty and billions of its subjects are presently at risk. We met a ship from uh, Dragonos not uh, too long ago with an artifact that is truly regrettable. What's more is leaving Dragonos has been... Um, forbidden for several cycles now. It seems that the Versarian family has once again failed their primary responsibilities. All right. Um, the governor. The ship did indeed depart from orbit, but it did so on Rogue Trader's authorization, and no one dared to impede. Kunra Voigtvier is a heretic and traitor. Lord Voigtvier visited the capital some time ago, and he did request a personal meeting. A heretic, you say? Now I see why all of the whispering in the corridors has come from. Subject all who have dared to make heretical remarks about the rogue trader servitude. Machines aren't prone to dissonance. Okay, well, what is he asking? Um... Naturally, no one would dare to challenge you by accusing you of something sacrilegious. However, Kunrak Voidvir was once a true boon to the Protectorate back in the day, and as such, some might heed his words. Yeah, we need to be dogmatic here. Okay, what's um, what exactly do Dragonus no nobilities expect from me in the line of the loss of routes of communications? We're all troubled by the fate of the agri-world Janos uh, the, that supplied uh, Dragonos and other planets with footfall. Empty stomachs can drive revolts. Furthermore, um, the industrial world Kiava Gamma, which is in charge, but you wish to you know my opinion, the world uh, that deserves your attention the most is potentially Vehebos VI, one of the key mining supplies in your um, protectorate. Such intriguing concerns for Webus uh, uh, 6. Doesn't your house have its own extraction station there? Your Lordship, I beg of you, do not interrupt uh, my words or attempt to influence your decision in any way. You see, without Webus 6, the manufactoriums on other worlds will need to make haste to find new suppliers. Okay, I've already visited the agri world Janos. Governor Viat found herself facing a number of problems in my absence. Uh, she succumbed to worshipping ruinous powers. Truly horrifying news. I commend your resolve. Death to the enemies of humanity. All right, that does it for the planets on trade route. What else? Xenos, your lordship. I don't rightly know where to begin. Otherworldly beasts are not an uncommon sight in the Corona's expanse. They have been a menace to the world of this side of the moor for decades. But now, these abominations are on a rampage. They show no signs of fear as they attack ships, either damaging them or to the point where they become unfit for transport outright. 
Luckily, we were forced to slay only some of the deranged psychers. I hope Master Scanella will uh, keep his word and offer the support in the war against the Xenos. According to his reports, the region of Verbos uh, 6 has been particular concern of the last few cycles, which is all the more reason to discover the colony's fate as soon as possible. Now, an issue of a smaller scale, there is a certain degree of tension in the capital due to the unorthodox succession to the Sacred Warren. Chances of uprising are minimal. Nonetheless, I have prepared a list of minor houses that have demonstrated unseemingly discomposure at your succession. Hmm, we're not killing people. Well, let's eliminate the most uh, contentious ones. Once your lordship's wrath descends upon the guild, you have no doubt there won't be a soul mm, uh, that isn't willing to share their fate. Good, so we got either the merchants um, the religious guys, the underdogs. Uh, I do not remember what House Garprak did, but let's do the underdogs. Uh, the governor says, forgive my boldness, but I remind you that the barbarians, whose lineage trace back to navy officers, are not the Dragonius nobility. Such decisions might have adverse effect on your subjects' loyalty, your lordship. I would like to complete my inauguration as soon as possible. Where is the ceremony? I'm afraid until you deal with the pressing issues, the ceremony will need to be postponed. Many trade routes are still unavailable. The central worlds... Um, are going through a crisis and that means we will need to establish more trade routes specifically Kiava Gamma specifically Kiava Gamma Okay, that went just as well as expected, to be fair. And maybe we can... Um, we can kill the unruly Xenos. And at least make this here a little bit of a safer place. On a positive note, it's the very, very first time, like ever, that we did not get immediately attacked. Good, I think the next time we're going to land on the planet. Terrible news from Dragonius. The subsidiary Hive City has been destroyed in a series of cascading failures. Production has halted, millions of people have broken their vows of obedience and are fleeing. Many of them are perishing in the wastelands and overloading the transport lines leading uh, to neighboring hives. The surrounding residential sectors are becoming increasingly agitated by the influx of refugees. Um. Mm, I think we should rebuild it.
Arch labor settlements were set up in the ruins of the former city to where the refugees of the wastelands and neighboring hives have been rounded up in the harsh wastelands scorched with industrial poison with only a bare a modicium of food and clean water, the settlement's residents began uh, the abduous and dangerous task of rebuilding their fallen home. Okay, wonderful. Profit factor and complacency. Rogue Trader gains plus 5 bonus to all of their skills. That is fantastic. We're going to do that. Good, and we have the Administratum which we could take the next time and by the way we do have I bring wonderful news prelate Hectanius of the order of the hammer has passed away why is that wonderful news immediately after la the launch of the uh, Vox where he entered the halls of recording for over three years, Prelect Tectanius preached about St. Cognorus being reincarnated, the spiritual feet depleted, um, Hectarius' strength, and he peacefully departed. Doesn't strike you at odd, I'm afraid it does uh, not. The esteemed Hectarius began his service. And long grown very of peaceful life befitting a man of his status. All right. Brother Tychus of the Order of the Hammer wishes to send a message. Good, as you can see, we need more complacency and just a lot more other stuff. The Drusarians, 22,600. I might be able to get that. I might be able to get that. It's interesting now we're managing colonies and the different relationships and a lot of other stuff. The game is good in pacing it. I wasn't even aware that we're doing so much management, but it's still happening. Good, almost there. Fantastic, and we got a cloak. Each enemy uh, killed by the wearer increases uh, the wearer's damage even further. Cool. Uh, that is a perfect cloak for our character ourselves. Fantastic. Back to colony management because now we do have the necessary um, the necessary 
uh, requirements. There you go. In order to get anything here, uh, twenty eight thousand. Okay, perfect time for us uh, to say goodbye for today. I think we had a long and interesting journey in this in this very mission. We're still needing to explore Draconos and I don't know where that last planet is. Adiri survivors. That's an option. Yeah, they, they want us to investigate both of these planets. Those are our colonies. Yeah, I'll figure out how we get there the next time. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you the next time. Bye-bye.